Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I'm going to talk about Selenium Grid. So till now, we saw how we can uh, execute our test cases uh, through Jenkins and uh, how we can scan the code like we have added this uh, Sonar Cube or Sonar Cloud Scanner in our continuous integration pipeline. Now we'll we will be moving one step forward and we'll be executing our test cases through our continuous integration pipeline only, but through Selenium Grid, which is the recommended way. Okay, so let's see now what is Selenium Grid and why it is recommended to use. Okay, so what is Selenium Grid? So Selenium Grid is mainly for distributed test execution okay so now what is selenium grid so selenium grid is a testing tool itself but we we cannot call it as a tool actually it is just a collection of jar files uh, we, we, we can just call it as a api okay so selenium grid is a testing tool which allows us to run our test cases on different machine against different browser at a time right so that means we are distributing our test cases so let us say i want to execute my uh, let us say i have some hundreds of test cases and i want to ensure that okay my all hundred test cases are uh, should run on different browsers like it should run on firefox version 56 it should run on chrome version 60 it should run on version ie version 10 if i want to make sure that it, if it is running in all then instead of running it in each uh, environment like manually changing it and running so what we can do is we can we can have a selenium grid setup and we can just uh, use the selenium grid to perform distributed test execution okay so i'll be talking uh, about this in detail okay uh, okay and it is used for cross br cross browser and platform testing tool so as i said let us say you have some test cases uh, which you want to test let us say on you you have let us say operating system constraint as well let us say you want to run some test cases on windows 7 with all three browser windows 10 with all three browser you want to run it on linux machine with all three browser uh, firefox chrome and internet explorer in such a cases selenium grid plays a huge advantage for you okay so parallel test execution will be executing test cases in parallel right so what is selenium grid it is just a testing tool which allows us to run your test cases in parallel in distributed way or in a different machine on different os as per your requirement at the same time right so now uh, what are the advantages of your selenium grid or when should we use selenium grid okay so uh, first let us see wh when we should run uh, wh when we should use selenium grid okay so as i said it is mainly for parallel test execution or distributed test execution that means execution on different browsers different os okay so when we should use selenium grid so we should use the, the selenium grid if you want to run your test cases on different browsers os and machines at the same time okay uh, as i said in my earlier example okay and the second case when we should use selenium grid since i said it will be used for parallel execution definitely to save your test execution time okay so if you, i have 100 test cases and I, if i am going to run all 100 test cases uh, in all three browsers also let us say in only one browser and instead of that uh, let us say all those hundred test cases is taking uh, hundred minutes. Okay, for execution, one test case take one minute. But if I use Selenium Grid and if I use parallel test execution, then uh, let us say I'm triggering uh, thread count of three. Then my three test cases will be running at the same time. Of course, all three independent test cases will be running at the same time. So my test execution will be finished in almost thirty three minutes. So I'm saving my one third of time. Right. So in such a situation we should use selenium grid okay and what are the advantages of selenium grid execution speed as i said because we will be doing parallel test execution and if i want to ensure the compatibility of my application under test across multiple combinations of web browser operating systems and hardware architecture again as i said in my last example if you want to ensure that your application your application under test is working perfectly on uh, let us say on Windows 10, Windows 7, Linux in all three browsers, in all, all three OS. If you want to make sure that, then Selenium Grid is the best thing which we should use. Okay, so that's what Selenium Grid is. It is mainly a, uh, it, it is your, uh, it is part of your Selenium Test Automation Suite only, right? So Selenium Test Automation Suite has Selenium IDs, Selenium Web Driver, Selenium Grid. Right, so Selenium Grid is one of the 
component of your selenium suit which is used for distributed test execution or parallel test execution or we can say cross browser testing okay so that's what is selenium grid is about okay now uh, let us take an example uh, okay or what are the uh, let us take an exa uh, let us take a look on components of selenium grid okay so first component is hub and second component is node okay so let us see now what is hub and what is node okay so to understand this hub and node let me take you to the next slide where i have this image explaining the concept of selenium grid so selenium grid has one hub let us call it as a server okay let us let us take let us call it as a server it is not actual server but it is server for nodes okay so selenium hub is a centralized point centralized point where all your nodes are connected to let us say i want to execute my test cases on mac machine i want to execute my test cases on windows machine i want to execute my test cases on linux machine and i want to execute my test cases on some other devices as well mobile devices or something okay so all those devices all those uh, what i can say browsers devices and all uh, or let us call it as a devices only because your browsers will be the part of devices so all those devices where you want to execute your sim similar test cases like let us say you have 100 test cases and you want to execute all your 100 test cases in mac machine windows machine linux machine and some other devices as well okay so all the machines where you want to execute your test cases in actual are termed as your nodes okay so nodes are just the selenium instances that will execute your test cases and it will be loaded from hub okay so your hub is just a central point where all nodes will be connected to so here you can find this is my hub and it has various nodes one for mac one for windows third for linux and four for other devices so my hub which will be connected to all the nodes and hub will be responsible for distributing the test cases that's what the part of your hub is okay so hub is your central point where you will load your all test cases into then later your hub will distribute the test cases based on the desired capability which we will write in our code okay if i have desired capability where i have asked to select operating system as mac then hub will decide okay os is mac then let us go to node 1 if i want to execute on node 3 in my test case if i have a desired capability for linux then hub will find out what is capability and then it will send it to linux right so hub is responsible for your distributing of your test cases to the nodes which are connected to it and nodes are just the uh, uh, selenium instances that will do the actual test execution of the test cases which are distributed by hub okay and uh, there should be only one hub in a grid okay so you will have only one hub in your selenium grid and you will have all many number of uh, nodes connected to it okay uh, okay so that's what uh, the concept of hub and node is about so your node will be just a different machines with different hardware architecture different software architecture different browsers everything so your nodes will be all in separate machines itself okay and hub is a single machine which will connect to all your different nodes right so that's what your hub and nodes are about okay so that's the concept of your selenium grid so how selenium grid will work uh, my selenium test cases will find out will will reach to this selenium hub by using some remote web driver url okay and then the selenium hub will decide to which node it wants to connect and execute the test cases based on the desired capability which we write okay so that's what is selenium grid about uh, in next video i'll talk about how we can install selenium grid okay in most of the organizations in maximum of the organizations you will get selenium grid installed in your uh, server itself so we need not to uh, care in those cases but installation is pretty simple we just need to uh, like initiate the jars from your uh, command line okay i'll be talking about that in my next sessions thank you